in this video we can uh, tell you why you should buy reckless clutch if you want to improve your riding experience uh, end of last year we bought reckless clutch kit and we installed it first on our super motos and after that we install one reckless clutch to Juha's uh, 350 dirt bike and we did the how to do video from that and um, after that we uh, you guys ask like where do you need it why you should even buy it the best thing with this clutch is hands down if you are riding enduro if you are like every day sunday rider like i am like we are we like to do big long enduro safaris and nobody even knows where we are going when we are going to safari and if you if you have a four stroke bike you have to play with the clutch like all the time when the terrain goes really bad you know every sunday enduro rider like 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 me this clutch is perfect because it's so easy to ride this four stroke here like places like this you can go basically anywhere with this clutch and of course you don't need the reckless clutch anywhere but if you want to improve the riding experience the mo the best thing is on enduro like it's 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 so it's so awesome to ride like big like 450 dirt bike or 3 350 four stroke bike on the forest with with the friends when you have the reckless clutch because the bike comes so much more easier to ride you can use the normal clutch like on the stock bike but it allows you to stop when you have the gear on and take off only with the throttle so you don't ever stall the bike When you brake, the rear wheel can lock up and you don't still stall the engine ever. So it, the rail like this, it doesn't help much, but on a slower, slower enduro, like a little bit hard enduro type of riding it helps a, a lot because you don't have to focus the clutch and you don't stall the bike ever you can still like give the bike clutch kick clutch works like the stock clutch also you can give Like clutch kick to this bike still.
need help. You know, check this shit out. I can find the traction only with my throttle. I'm not a enduro racer, and this clutch, uh, they have designed this clutch to racing to help racers. But you know, every Sunday, Sunday rider like me who rides like almost everywhere and sometimes pretty hard places where you have to almost ride like so slow that you barely are moving because it's a hard place to ride so it's a it's so easy to find traction with only with your throttle like this you don't have to play the play with the clutch all the time and be afraid that you stole the engine what is happening here nice uh, and if you decide to buy the recluse clutch kit uh, it's it's really high chance that it will fit on your next bike if you stick with the same brand example uh, if you buy 2019 350 and you buy the recluse clutch kit on it and the next bike what what you will buy is a 450 2020 model you can take the recluse clutch off from the 350 and it will fit on the 450 there is some small parts what you need maybe buy but it will fit on your new bike so basically if you if you buy the kit don't sell sell it with the bike take it off and then it's a high high chance that it will work somehow on your new model if it's the same brand you know I, w I borrowed the Juha's bike this summer I ride it like two weeks or something like that because I was planning to change my 300 TPI to 350 but I borrowed the Juha's bike and I was I was riding it like two weeks and I, I liked it on an enduro tracks and motocross tracks I think I went faster with that than with my 300 but you know safaris like this and like enduro adventures like this what we do like 90% of the time what we ride I felt that the 300 what 350 four stroke was so heavy to ride and I stole the bike all the time but with this recluse clutch what it has now it feels like almost a bike what I what I would like to have and own 